first for local news. Como for news. Up next, a woman who travels the world helping people turn bad luck and bad relationships into the successful, fulfilling lives we all really want. And she gets paid to do it. Brenda Anderson shares simple steps you can take that can turn your luck around and change your life. We'll be right back. Ever had one of those days where everything seems to go wrong or maybe it seems your whole life is just one bad event after another? Well, my guest today says you can change a lot of that and turn your life around by changing your choices. This is Brenda Anderson, and she has a new book out called Playing the Quantum Field, How Changing Your Choices Can Change Your Life. And Brenda, I was telling you during the commercial break, the quantum field kind of scares people. But what do you mean by that, playing the quantum field? Oh, it's as simple as understanding the power of your thoughts. Think of the quantum field like the cosmic QVC shopping network. Your thought places the order, and the field pulls it together to deliver it to you. So that means our thoughts are very, very powerful. And if you're having a bad morning and if everything's going wrong, that is going to expand and get worse as the day goes on. Things do kind of barrel in it. And a part of it, I think, because this has happened to me over the weekend, you get too much on your mind. You're a little bit ahead of yourself. Then you get flustered doing what you're doing at the moment. Yes. And then you can't find your keys. And then your debit card doesn't work. Yes. And then you're flustered about the people backed up in the line. And then you realize that you had what you needed all the time. But now you've lost the keys. And, and one thing barrels. Is that kind of what you mean by That is exactly what we're talking about here. The other day I had one of those mornings and I was rushing out the door. I had to let the dog out first. I grabbed my power bar, gave the dog the biscuit, ran out the dark door and took a bite. I was eating the dog biscuit. We all have those moments and what you need to do is when you're in the middle of it, if you can find something that makes you laugh, if you can lighten up, that helps connect you back into the now. Have you ever driven into work and completely forgotten about the drive in? Yep. That's because we're not focusing on, we're not tuning in on what's happening right now. And that's where your power is in the You're day. saying tune in to really what's happening. And a lot of it is where you're putting your energy. And a lot of the mm -hmm. times, especially, I know a lot of you right now know your mind's on so many different things that your energy's not in what you're really doing. That's yeah? completely true. And then you've got energy leaks. And then when you're focusing on other things, you can't impact what's happening right now. How does that work into the people that have had, you know, bad relationships, they can never get things right at work, you know, life just doesn't go well with family members. How does that relate to them? Well, you're describing what I call a low energy choice, and that choice is in the fear zone, and that's called a loop. That's when you repeat the same pattern from person to person, relationship to relationship, job to job, and often it takes a, a bit of a, a wake-up call to get us out of those loops so that we can redirect our energy into something that works for us better. Well, your book really goes into the steps on how to do that, how to recognize when you're taking yourself down the wrong path. Again, it's called Playing the Quantum Field, How Changing Your Choices Can Change Your Life. Brenda Anderson, thank you for coming in. Oh, thank you for having me, Nice Connie. meeting you. Nice meeting you.